There's no way to avoid it. This past year has been tough for all of us. Nobody saw it coming, but here we are. With lockdowns and restrictions now with us for nearly a full year, each of us has experienced a tremendous depletion of our energy reserves. Good energy flows have been replaced with blockages or disappeared altogether. But there is a way to transmute energies of lack, fear, and suffering into spiritual fuel for holistic transformation. The key lies deep in your consciousness. Since ancient times, energy healing ceremonies have been practiced by masters of all traditions, from nearly all of the great civilizations. Their goal has been the same from the beginning, to restore the balance of energy flow within the body, mind, and soul in order to achieve a physical and spiritual restoration. Traditions that shift the consciousness of the participant, creating transformation at the cellular level. With unobstructed resonant energy channels, you can liberate yourself from self-limiting beliefs, fears, and lack, and you can step into radiant power, enhance dormant abilities, and expand your inner wisdom. It's time to awaken your life force. Maybe this all sounds like science fiction. In some way, it is. Or at least science fiction is boring from reality. For the sake of such recognizable examples though, let's explore some of science fiction's representations of energy channeling. Pop culture references are a great way to visualize energy healing more easily. In the very first Star Wars film, A New Hope, Blue Skywalker has a near fatal battle on Tatooine. Lying on the ground, unconscious, Obi-Wan Kenobi arrives and kneels by Luke's side. He places his hand on Luke's forehead, spreading his fingertips over the young man's temples. He calls R2-D2 out of hiding and tells the droid that Luke will be just fine, right as the boy begins to stir. What did Obi-Wan do with his hand? What powers did he transmit? In Star Wars canon, this moment is considered the first time we see force healing, or what we back here on Earth have come to call energy healing. But what is this process? And more importantly, is it just science fiction or is there some truth built into this fantasy? In this video, we'll explore the facts and fictions of energy healing and dig into its Jedi-like powers. You don't have to visit Tatooine to bring about transformative change to the human body. The Force, or something like it, is already in you. It's in your DNA. Fast forward to the rise of Skywalker, released decades later, and Force healing is showcased in a much more dramatic fashion. Both Rey and Ben Solo used it throughout the film. Ben Solo uses this form of energy healing to bring Rey back to life. Rey uses the technique to heal Kylo Ren after she nearly kills him at the Death Star 2 wreckage site. In both of these examples, just like in A New Hope, we witness a strong and healthy individual place a hand over a weaker individual, transmitting energy through touch as though they were giving the weaker person a stronger energy so that the weaker can heal and recover. Through science fiction, we witness healing through energy transmission. It's become a tale as old as time, really, a common occurrence. In episode 25 of Star Trek The Next Generation, titled Transfigurations, a crash voyager is rescued by the crew of the Enterprise. The injured being has some sort of recuperative power, where pulses of energy within him are able to heal the wounds he sustained in his crash. Later in the episode, after fully healing, he saves a member of the Enterprise crew by transmitting his own energy to the crew member, reversing the effects of a broken neck. In science fiction, it's long been a popular theme that energy forces can change from one being to another, or recalibrate it through the self by an individual who is aware of their energy centers and the flow within. Harnessing this sort of power is a form of final revolution for a living entity, enabling accelerated healing and development of body and mind, among other benefits. Programs like Doctor Who, Babylon 5, Stargate SG-1, and many more have explored this theme. From laser energy healing devices like dermal regenerators in Star Trek, used to rapidly heal damage to skin tissue, and full-on medical pods that can use vibrational energy to reatomize the body to eradicate illness and disease like those used in the Matt Damon film Elysium. The concept of energy healing has long been at the frontier of what science hopes to one day achieve. While we're not quite to that point yet, foundations to these ideas are deeply rooted in ancient wisdom. Versions of this sort of energy-based healing extend deep into the pages of our human story. The ancient Greeks recorded many such instances. Take the story of King Pyrrhus, for example. He was said to be able to heal the afflictions of his poor subjects simply by touching them. The Egyptians spoke of an energy force sourced from the star system Sirius. They called it Sekim, and it was primarily practiced by the Egyptian priesthood. 
Practitioners would channel energy through their hands into the patient. They could also do this without physical touch, what we call today remote energy healing. The Bible has dozens of examples of energy healing, many of which were performed by Jesus himself. From healing the blind to healing lepers, Jesus' touch is said to be the flow of God's own energy into the person in need of healing. The Japanese form of this phenomenon is known as Reiki. Japanese healers transfer what they referred as universal energy through their hands, particularly through their palms, in order to facilitate physical and emotional recovery. Perhaps there is no greater visual reverence for this practice than in the famous 1980s film Karate Kid, in which Daniel is hurt during his big terminant fight and his sensei, Mr. Miyagi, practices Reiki to ease his pain so that he can continue fighting. Reiki finds its roots in the concepts of Qi, what the Chinese call life force energy. Reiki's teachings describe Qi in a physiological form, energy that can be manipulated to treat illnesses and injury. Indeed, the ancient Chinese relied heavily on life energy cultivation, a practice called Qigong, which aligns the body and spirit in harmony with broader universal spectrums of energy. The great Qigong masters throughout history used their healing powers for both general well-being and combat purposes, applying the benefits to all facets of life. Practitioners continue to rely on the principles of Qigong to this day. In fact, across China, you can find hospitals incorporating Qigong care, treatment, and therapy. There are even some hospitals devoted entirely to Qigong, like the Huasha Jineng Qigong Clinic, founded in 1988 as a medicine-less hospital. It's the largest of its kind in the world, with over 400,000 patients, with over 180 kinds of illness have been treated, all with an amazing 95% recovery rate. More than 3,000 research papers have been published on the work done at this hospital and others, documenting the incredible effects of Qigong and energy healing therapies. Like the Chinese and Japanese, the Indian culture has its own variation of energy healing, known as prana. Pranic healing relies heavily on remote function and of awareness of inner energy centers within the body. In other words, physical touch is not necessary but an acute understanding of how energy flows through the body is necessary in order to achieve maximum benefits. Some forms of energy healing have extended beyond the physical being and used specialized devices or resources to amplify a target specific forms of energy. One such example is known as crystal healing. The first recorded example of using crystals and gemstones to manipulate energy fields extends all the way back to the ancient Sumerians. Even Plato's writings of Atlantis describe crystals as an integral part of the energy healing process. Crystals like amethyst, quartz, citrine, opals, and rubies, or sapphires, have all been associated with boosting, preventing, unblocking, or transforming energy within the body. In many of the examples we've discussed, as well as the dozens more found throughout the mythological, religious, and historical record, energy healing is most often associated with shamans, healers, clerics, and priests, as well as nobility. But the common people adopted methods and techniques to apply to their own lives, all centered around the control, manipulation, and redirection of energy around and within their bodies. These ancient habits and rituals have consistently inspired ingenuity and motivation within the medical field as it began to expand in knowledge and capability over the past few hundred years. And it is through this process of innovation that great leaps have been made. You could almost say that doctors and scientists have been channeling energy forces of their own in order to expand what is medically possible. What if energy healing isn't so far-fetched after all then? What if force healing, vibrational healing, sound healing, qi energy healing, and the like are all rooted in ancient wisdom, practiced in some form or other throughout history? What if these practices are what inspires the more advanced forms of tools and therapies we depicted in TV and movies? The truth is, energy healing is real. And it has the power to unlock your inner being in ways you cannot even imagine. These ways may not involve a shaman or the touch of kings, gods, or senseis, but they do form the cutting edge of scientific advancement. To understand how energy can be used as a tool for healing, it's important to understand what energy is in the first place. So what is energy? When you boil it down, energy is just a frequency waves of invisible forces traveling through space and time. We are constantly affected by frequencies of all kinds, from the electronic devices we use to the sun's rays, from inside our bodies at a cellular level, or even from Earth itself. Some frequencies are bad for us, others are good. The good ones are the key to our well-being, in fact. 
the ancient Chinese, the ancient Egyptians, and so many others, they all knew this. Long before modern science developed detailed explanations for the physics behind it, ancient civilizations understood how it worked in principle, how it impacted us, both positively and negatively, how it could be used as a tool to improve your well-being, health, and even your ability to manifest your desires. Modern technological energy healing as we know it today, using dedicated devices, began in the 1840s, but it wasn't until the 1920s that early pioneers like Dr. Royal Rife really started to study the effects of frequency on the human body and mind. His work would eventually lead to the invention of PEMF, or pulsed electromagnetic field devices, beginning in the 1950s. These devices brought the power of Dr. Rife's early work into smaller form factors, allowing for much more accessible magnetic field generation to tune energies within and surrounding the body. But more simply, these devices allowed frequency therapy or energy healing for everyone. While energy healing systems have been around for decades, however, the reality is that they haven't been updated or revolutionized in years, until now. New devices like Qi coils have taken the concepts of energy healing to a whole new level. There is an invisible force in our body called electromagnetism, similar to the energy that makes up sound waves or make magnets work. Every cell produces its own electromagnetic field and communicates with other cells by electromagnetic frequencies. This exchange of electromagnetic energy keeps your body in or out of balance by controlling your body's chemical processes. When these processes are negatively disrupted in some way, undesirable effects can occur. But if these processes are positively reinforced, stimulated, or enhanced, the effects can be noticeably beneficial. Many scientific studies have examined how manipulating and positively reinforcing electromagnetic fields through energy healing techniques, also called biofield therapy, can lead to incredible results. The University of Arizona's Dr. Ann Baldwin carried out research in 2017, concluding that exposure to biofield therapies, either directly or indirectly, amplifies autonomic energy, can reduce pain and improve range of motion. Dr. Baldwin's earlier work in 2013, focusing specifically on the practice of Reiki, published in the Journal of Evidence-Based Complementary and Alternative Medicine, suggested that Reiki was as effective as manual manipulation physical therapy in improving pain, and that it would be beneficial for physical therapists to be trained in Reiki so they could reduce the need for manual work on patients. Dr. Wayne B. Jonas, director of the Samuel Lee Institute, conducted a review of various energy healing studies for a 2003 paper published in the Journal of Alternative Therapies in Health and Medicine. On the topic of energy healing, the paper covered University of Michigan's research that performed 19 randomized controlled trials on 1,122 patients. 11 of these studies, or 58% of them, reported statistically significant treatment effects, with the most positive outcomes reported in the alleviation of anxiety and pain. The same paper also looked at Qigong techniques studied at the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research, where it was shown that positive outcomes were seen in the treatment of immune modulation, as well as cellular and enzyme function. A paper published in 2009 in the Journal of Alternative Health and Medicine studied energy healing and its effects on pain and anxiety, particularly in those suffering from dementia, and found that patients involved in trials experienced a reduction in both pain and anxiety but also a decrease in heart rate and overall improvement in mood. Patients were also known to participate in more social interaction, and many reported an easing of their symptoms of depression. That's the power of energy healing. You can tap into what so many civilizations healers have called life force, life energy, source energy, or chi. But you can do more than that. You can cultivate it, you can manipulate it, you can direct it, and with this power, you can transform yourself in ways you've never even imagined. Imagine being able to proactively promote the well-being of your mind, body, and soul. You can heal, you can regenerate, rejuvenate, and reset yourself with the power of frequency, with energy healing. With the ancient energy healing course at Qi Life, you can do just that. Learn the basics of energy healing, DNA activation, and more. Taught by our team of experienced energy healers, it will take you step by step on a journey through the world of your own consciousness. Experience a multi-dimensional energy immersion You'll learn the basics of the energy healing process. You'll also learn how to clean your energetic space, activate your energy centers, discover where and when your energies can be best amplified, and how to be an active conduit of energy flow through you. Your journey to recalibration through this incredible course will help you clear negative energies from your mind, body, and spirit. 
will teach you powerful energy protection so negative energy will be banished from your electromagnetic field. We'll explore quantum DNA activation, heart opening and expansive work. This course will boost your energy levels like you've never experienced before. You'll be thrilled to hear that this is not a complicated or difficult learning process. It's something that literally anyone can do. But it's not just for you. You can apply what you learn with and share your energy activation with your family, your clients, and even your pets. What's more, you can apply energy healing practices in person or remotely. The possibilities are truly endless. You don't need special equipment or devices to take part in the course, although for full immersion and to take advantage of what you'll learn in the most effective way, we do recommend that you have one of our Qi coil systems, the fastest way to boost your Qi energy flow. This will enable you to amplify the frequencies you'll be working with, taking your energy healing journey to greater heights. Our wellness frequency collections have been specially crafted in our lab to tap into your inner energy field to entrain your overall state of well-being. A healthy body will resonate positively in all aspects of life. Our frequencies will give you the capacity to achieve the harmony and balance you need in order to live your best life. Our collection includes frequencies that will expand your confidence and clarity, relax mind and body, remove fatigue, encourage natural happiness, release negativity, and improve overall mood. You can take things a step further with our series of higher quantum frequencies tuned with powerful mathematical representations of consciousness to supercharge your emotional and physical manifestation. Learn to induce patterns of behavior that harness your energies to attract abundance in all aspects of your life. To heal with energy, you need to raise your chi energy. And with our energy healing course, you will resonate on a whole new level. Change your frequency, change your reality. It's time to activate. You deserve an energy activation experience. You deserve strengthened healing. You deserve a raised vibrational frequency. Perhaps you've been looking to make a shift in your life. Maybe you've been searching for that special something that can help align you with your best path forward. Or it could be even simpler. Energy healing is the answer. Radical transformation that you will carry with you for the rest of your life. Visit LearnSuperhuman.com to enroll in this energy healing course.